You read the Department of Social Security Administration. How can I help you? Hello. I got a message that said I have to call here. Can you help me? Did you receive any kind of case ID number along with the call? No, just said I need to call here and I face legal action. Okay, so may I know with whom I'm speaking with? What's the name? My name is Robert Grinnell. So first name spelled R is in Romeo, O is in Oscar, B is in Bravo, E as in Echo, R is in Romeo, T as in Tango. My last name is spelled G is in Golf, R is in Romeo, I is in India, N is in November, N is November, E as in Echo. L is in Lima, L is in Lima. Okay, can you just verify with me our zip code? 06516. 0516, right? 06516. Okay. Okay, and can you just verify with me a large four digit of your social number so I can provide you the information that why social security is calling you today? One nine two two. Alright, just hold the line. Okay, now listen be carefully. Hello? Hello, yes. Hello? I'm here, uh huh. Yes, now listen be carefully. This call is to inform you. This call is to inform you that we have received an order from federal authorities to place a block on your social security number. So, are you aware about the situation? No, I was out all morning. I went to the church basement to play bingo, then I went to the park bench to feed the birds, and then I went to my favorite restaurant, the Bridgeport Flyer, and then I found this on my cassette answering machine. What I'm asking to you? What I'm asking to you? Did you receive any kind, any call from a local chef department today? No, it's the first I've heard of this. Okay, have you ever been to the state of Washington before? No. Okay, the thing is that someone is trying to use your personal information for identity and had committed many fraudulent activity in the state of Illinois. Like we have found a bandit car on the south border of Illinois. The make and the model of the vehicle was Toyota Camry with the license plate number WA982078. I know nothing about that. I've never been to Illinois. Okay. In that car, we found some blood trace and some drug residues inside it. After investigation, we found that the car was rented under your name and under your social security number. And there are two addresses linked with the title of vehicle. When investigated, we came to know that one address was fake, while another was 930930 Church Street, Evanch, Evanstone, Illinois 60201. Do you know something about this address in the state of Illinois? No. Okay. When this address was raided by U.S. Marshal and team, but unfortunately there was no one inside the residence. But the U.S. Marshal had recovered 22 pounds of cocaine, which is an abusive drug, and some documents from the financial institute such as Chase Bank, Bank of America, U.S. Bank, TD Bank, Wells Fargo, couple of credit, PNC Bank, BBNT Bank, and all this paperwork has on your name on it. Now the question arises, do you banking with them all? No.
Do you banking with 17 bank accounts? No. Okay, then will you just tell me how many bank accounts do you have? I just have a checking account and a savings account at Milford Bank. Which bank? Milford Bank. So M is in Mike, I is in India, L is in Lima, F is in Foxtrot. O can you can you repeat again? So M is. Can you start once again? So M is in Mike, I is in India. Okay. L is in Lima. Okay. F is in Foxtrot. Okay. O is in Oscar. Okay. R is in Romeo. Okay. D is in Delta. Okay. Uh, by the way, I was okay. thinking about Illinois. I just remembered that uh, in uh, 1980, I did drive through Illinois, and there were these group of Nazis who were having a demonstration on the bridge, and I uh, simply drove through the bridge, and the uh, Nazis had to uh, uh, jump off the bridge to save themselves, and I kind of wonder if maybe it's the Illinois Nazis who uh, who faked my identity. Okay. In this bag, do you have checking or saving? I have both. Okay, you have both one. Yes. Somebody just tell me, do you have any other another bank? No. Or do you have only one bank? Yes. Okay. And do you have any 15 credit cards under your name? I only have a debit card connected to my bank checking account. Okay. You have only debit card. You don't have any kind of credit card, right? No. I had a credit card 10 years ago. And then this person in Pakistan called me and he offered me this big giant uh, bottle full of pills for my reptile dysfunction for only $10. And he never sent me the pills for my reptile dysfunction and he maxed out my credit card and I learned my lesson. I canceled my credit card. I never had a credit card since then and I never talked to a scammer ever again. Okay, so right now your name is under federal investigation in the state of Illinois with three criminal charges placed against on your name, which is drug trafficking, second is money laundering, and third is supporting two terrorists. Because after investigating these documents which we have found in the residence, we have recovered that almost 200,000 of dollars had been wired locally and internationally, which seems totally suspicious to us. So will you just tell me, have you ever lost your wallet or your personal information in your pocket? No, I keep my wallet in my front pocket and I don't condone marijuana. I think everyone who smokes marijuana should go to jail for 20 years and be forced to make license plates. Sorry, can you repeat again? I do not condone marijuana. I think everyone who smokes marijuana should go to jail for 20 years and be forced to make license plates. Okay, did you share your social number with any of the person, like your family, friends, or anyone else? No. Okay, do you suspect someone who can do this kind of fraudulent activity in the state of Illinois? Well, in 1980, I upset the uh, Illinois Nazis when they were having a demonstration in the middle of the bridge and they were wearing their Nazi brown shirts and their Nazi swastikas and they were singing all kinds of Nazi songs and I was very offended so I took my car and I aimed it st straight towards the center of the bridge and the Illinois Nazis jumped off the bridge to save themselves and the leader of the Illinois Nazis said one day he was going to get even with me and I think it was the the uh, leader of the Illinois Nazis who could have done this.
Okay. <laughs> because has you checked in your record and verified that you do not have any criminal record, all the such a fraud activities has been reported on your social. Till this happened, we do believe that maybe it is possible that you are the victim of identity fraud or identity theft. Right? Exactly. So now we will suggest a courthouse to safeguard your true belonging that you Yes, go ahead. Go ahead, uh huh. So now we will suggest a court house to safeguard your true belonging that you claim to be yours and fix that account that are created by imposter to stop future criminal activities on your own social. Okay? Okay. So now we are going to suspend your social security number and we are going to reissue the new social to you. There will be two officers from the Federal Train Commission and two from US Marshal will be come to your doorstep and they are going to show all the documents and all of the all the people's work regarding with the case, okay? So Is that okay with you? So they're really coming to my doorstep? Yes. Okay. Oh, I forgot. My social worker at the senior housing, Dr. Watt, wants me every time I talk to Social Security to get a name and a badger number. Uh, what was your name and badger number? My name is Officer Robert William with the federal batch ID number is SSA 786902. Okay, so SSA 786902, first name Robert, last name Williams. Yes. Okay, uh huh. Okay, so now I will transfer this call to the senior officer with DEA, Drug Enforcement Administration, who is authorized regarding person with your case, okay? Okay. Uh, by the way, I know someone who works for the DEA known as Hank Schrader. Am I going to be talking to Hank Schrader? No. Oh, okay. Okay, so make sure do not hang up the line, okay? Just hold the line. Okay. Your line has been connected to the senior investigation officer, Benjamin Alfred. How may I help you? Uh, yes, I was told somebody did something to my account in Illinois. Now, I got your last name. Was that A-L-F-O-R-D? What's your name? My name is Robert Grinnell, and my social worker at Senior Housing, Dr. Watt, said whenever I talk to Social Security, I should get their name and badger number. Was your last name A-L-F-O-R-D? Yes. Okay, and I did not catch your first name. First of all, with Milford Bank, what is the account which you're holding? It's in checking account or saving account? It's both checking and saving. How much you have in your checking account? In my checking account, I have $4,736.10. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. What about savings? I have $73,784.17. Do you have your ID with you? My, yes, it's uh, upstairs in my drawer. Just go ahead and take a picture of your driving license and send it to me on my number, okay? I'm What's just going to text you a text message. Just give me... What's your phone Sorry? number? I'm going to text it to you right now on your number, okay. which I'm talking to you. Is it your cell phone or home phone I'm talking to? It's my cell phone. 
Okay, so... Okay, you might got a text message, you can open... Okay, so Benjamin this... Alpert, Social Security Administration. Yeah. Okay, I had it and then I lost Just, uh, it. Two zero two eight five two five one nine zero. Oh. Yeah, just take a picture and send it to me on my number. Okay. okay. It's upstairs. It'll take a few moments for me to get up okay. there. Yeah, just you have to take a picture of your driving license and send it to me. Excuse me, I haven't been the same since I got coronavirus. Just another set of stairs. Okay, my phone Stop is Stop playing with us. Don't waste our time. Thank you. I'm not playing. I don't know what you're talking One about. I'm 88 years old and just I just found it on my stairs. Well, let me, the phone I is just in want my you drawer. to send the driving license picture, then I'll talk to you. It's in my drawer. You have to give me a we few moments. We're not able moments. to take your call right now. Goodbye.